Hi everyone and welcome back to Kids Corner. It is the fourth Sunday of Lent in our church year and we have spent the last few weeks remembering stories in the Bible that talk about our relationship with God. There was once a man who said and did amazing things. He told incredible stories and he healed and he taught. This man was Jesus, and the second part of our Bible is all about him. Jesus told a lot of stories called parables to help people to learn and to understand who God is, how God loves, and how we ought to love each other. There's one parable of Jesus called the Parable of the Good Shepherd that Jesus told to show how much God loves us. This is the story. If someone owns a hundred sheep and one of them wanders away, of course they will leave the 99 in the field and go and look for the one that wandered off. And when the person finds their missing sheep, they will be so happy about finding it. In the same way, this is how God loves God's children. In the Bible, there's also a very well-known poem called Psalm 23. It's a Psalm of David, and it tells us about God as a shepherd who cares for us like a shepherd cares for her sheep. To help us to remember that God loves us in the same way and that God is a, like a good shepherd, our craft today will be to make a sheep, just like this one. In your Lent in a Bag craft package, you will find the bag with Lent 4 written on it. And inside there's a paper plate, there's cotton balls, there's the cutout of the sheep's face and the eyes and the legs. All you need to do is take the plate and put some glue all over it and then stretch apart the cotton a little bit and fill up the plate with it. Then you glue or tape the legs onto the bottom of the plate, you glue the sheep's face onto the cotton balls, and then put on the eyes. And that's it. You have a sheep to remind you that God is like a good shepherd, loving you like a shepherd loves and cares for their sheep. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Remember to take a picture of your sheep and send it to me so I can share it with our whole church family on Facebook. I can't wait to see you again next week. Take care and bye for now.